Hello friends, welcome back in today's quiz on Informatica MDM. So let's start. So today's quiz first question is, as a general rule, it is good idea to apply trust to all columns in a base object. So and the options are, yes, it is true statement. And option B, it is false statement. So read the statement properly and choose your answer. I think you got the correct answer and the answer is false. It is not mandatory to configure trust on the all the columns in base object. <coughs> Excuse me. We can co configure trust on selected column selective columns. Next question. Can match path filter section can be used to filter match data? So this is we are talking about the path section which is available inside match and merge setup section. Can that be used for filtering the match data? Answer is yes. Answer or uh, sorry option one option A is yes and option B is no. What is your answer? Yeah, the correct answer is yes. The path section or the path filter section can be used to filter the match data. Next question. Which of these example, examples best describe match purposes? Person name, individual, resident household division all the choices are correct choose your choices <coughs> excuse me the correct answer is all the choices are correct all these are the match purposes next question choose correct combination in mdm match process first combination null matches null second combination null matches not null third combination not null matches not null and the last option is all choices are correct so choose your answer i hope you got the correct answer the correct answer is null matches null and null matches not not null not null matches not null is not a valid combination or it is considered as a default behavior so this option is is not correct option which statement can best describe secure resources interesting question the first option is base objects second option is packages third option is subject areas fourth option is task and last option is all can be secure resources so this is the very simple questions about the securing a resource the correct answer is base object and packages subject areas and tasks are not granularized rather they are comes under the custom objects match rules configured in mdm hub can be used in idd is it true or is it false so what are we configuring the mdm the particular match rules will will it available in idd the answer is true yes we can be we can use the match rules which are configured in the mdm hub next quiz question which of the following best describes what hierarchy manager does option a it represents an unlimited number of relationships in the business model option b it enforces strict hierarchies both balanced and ragged option c it represents a single hierarchical view of the data and the correct answer it represents an unlimited number of relationships so you can configure 
n number of relationship there is no restriction on the number of relationship a1 you can configure n number of hierarchy hierarchies in your business model next quiz question is it possible to change sequence of attribute in a hierarchy view option a yes we can change the sequence of attributes in the hierarchy view option b no we cannot change the sequence of attributes in the hierarchy view hierarchy can be viewed in the hierarchy manager or in the idd application so the whenever you have the entity entity shows like name or it's a a row id object or any other custom column or the business column so th there will be multiple columns available so the question here is is it possible to change the sequence of those attributes and the correct answer is yes we can change the sequence of attributes by using the hierarchy manager section so you can configure which attribute will go first which attribute goes second etc so sequence can be configured which task can be accomplished in security access manager workbench so we know that sam that is security access manager is one of the workbench in the mdm hub so this question is what are the things we can achieve we can create role we can create users we can create assign users to role we can change the resource status to private so we have to choose the multiple options from this answer so it's not just one uh, one uh, choice is correct here it is multiple choice question i think you chose the multiple options from this given options the correct answer is we can create roles assign users to role change resource status to private yes th that's true the create users cannot be done in the sam workbench create users comes under configuration section next question we can configure only exact match rules for base object option a true option b false read questions carefully and the correct answer is true if it is business requirement that for given base object they need only exact matching then no need to configure fuzzy match columns if it is there is no business need we have the feasibility to configure only exact match rules if it is required so the answer is true next question when should a customer use the registry edition of mdm hub nice question to understand the styles of the mdm implementation option a when there is a no data uh, when there is no need for the golden record but only a view of master record then use the register edition option b when there is no need for hierarchies option c when there is no need to track lineage and light audit requirement option d all the choices are correct i hope you got the question and the options maybe you can make a note of the answer and just validate with this correct answer the correct answer is when there is a no need for golden record but only a view of master record that is the correct answer next question what are the types of mdm styles this is again the another interesting question to understand mdm implementation styles the very uh, first option is coexistence style second option is transactional hub style option c is registry style option d is consolidation style and option a e is all of the above so choose your options wisely i think you got the correct answer yes all of the above are the mdm styles next question which are associated with fuzzy match columns option a non equal matching option b match weight option c fuzzy match key option d match subtype and the correct answer is 
match weight and fuzzy match key match subtype and non equal matching are not associated with fuzzy match columns what is data type of roidy object column in the base object or staging table and the correct answer uh, so the options are char 14 var char 14 var char 2 14 integer so yeah i know this is very simple questions but sometimes we overlook the data types and this kind of questions may get asked and the correct answer is char 14 next question for state management enable base objects cross reference records flagged as deleted will only when or records with active and pending state if a validation rule is defined to downgrade the trust is it true or is it false it's very interesting questions normally no one will think about this like if you have the state management enable that means you can soft delete record when soft delete means the, the record might go into minus 1 state or it is called as a deleted So can we win the deleted record over the active and pending by reducing trust? The answer is false. We cannot win deleted record over active and pending. By default, implement MDM implementation wins active record first. If there is deleted and pending records present, then only pending record will win. so that means if there is sequence if the active record pending record and delete record these three records present then active record will win suppose there are only two records one is pending and second is deleted pending record will win if there is only deleted record then and then only it will win it will go into the it will re retain in the base object but we cannot win deleted record or active or pending even if you use the validation rules to downgrade the trust So the correct answer for this question is false. Which of the following choices are available? Type of user exits. So this question is related to the MDM hub user exits. The first option is pre-landing. Second option is pre-stage. Third option is post-load. Of option fourth is post-tokenize. Option fifth is post-merge. I think this is very simple and straightforward questions. I believe you got the correct answer. The correct answer is pre-stage, post-load, post-merge. Next question: Atom merge indicator column present in underscore mtch table. Is it true or is it false? And the correct answer is. Yes, it is true. It is not necessary. It is this atom merge column is is part of the merge process. Even it is, it get populated during the match process. So it retained in the empty stage table. So answer is true. Which of the following is a not a role privilege? Option A, merge. Option B, execute. Option C, delete. Option D, admin. so it's a not a role privilege so choose your correct option the correct answer is admin admin is not privilege it's a, it's not a role privilege next question we cannot run merge job separately match and merge job should be run at the same time is it true or is it false I think you got the correct answer. The correct answer is, it is false. We can run match and merge job separately, but there is one job available: run auto match and merge, which will run the both job at the same time. But there are other jobs also available: match and merge. We can run separately. I think these are the today's questions. We have noticed, as per our one of the regular viewers. requirement the one of my regular river friend she requested to provide the questions more regarding the match so that is the reason i incorporated little more match processes 
questions if you want any other section or uh, any other topic related quiz just mention the comment section of this video i'll be more than happy to create such video thank you again and have a nice time